Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Foxon and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're starting off a brand new series and it's going to be Sailor Moon, the original series. I'll be also doing the updated one as well, but right now we're going to be doing the old school because that's what my childhood was. So Anyway, we're doing season one, episode one called Sailor Moon, the Crybaby. Also, Usagi's Beautiful Transformation. So we get her intro, how she's a klutz and a little crybaby, and you know, just her overall vibe of her, and how she's like, um, she's 14 and in middle school. Which I think is weird because I feel like when you're 14, you're going into high school here in, in the US, but I don't know how it works in Japan, but anyway. So we started her um, oversleeping, uh, so she's late for class. And she's on her way, but on her way she helps a cat that has a crescent moon um, spot on it that she says like a bald spot because these kids were being um, rude to the cat and put it on her head. And the bell rings and she'll actually wait for school, so she tries to get her food outside and the teacher then fusses her out. And she did horrible at a test. She got a 35%. It was, or it was in the 30s. And um, so she talks to Naru, which is like her best friend, and Umino, who's like the class nerd. I'm close with his sister. Like, I didn't really say that much either, and I did okay. He got a 95. I did not like people like that. No, well, I did okay. I only got a 95. But <laughs> anyway, so um, then Naru switches conversations about Sailor V and um, and how you know Sailor Moon is like obsessed with Sarah V, but she's never heard of Sarah V before, so they have, they fill her in a little bit, like, she's, like, maybe working from the FBI or a special police unit or something like that. They talk about her, um, her mom's shop, who has a jewelry shop, and how Nara's mo uh, mom is having a sale. Then we go to Queen Barrel, is looking for a silver crystal, and then Jadeite wants to help. And so she okays it. Chris, the first, the thing that's funny to me is like when Queen Bear's house like, has anyone found the silver crystal? And they go, no. They didn't say no. They go, no. <laughs> Which is funny as hell. And uh, basically, uh, we go back to the jewelry shop and it's packed. And basically the jewelry is taking the energy from the people in the shop that are wearing it. And that Nar uh, Naru's mom is actually a demon. So, um, Usagi goes home because she has no money and she can't really ask her parents for money because of her bad test. <laughs> and so she goes on her way home and says so she tries to throw away the test and hits Mamaru by accident. And then they have a little spat and they he calls her Bunhead and then um, she gets kind of mad and goes away. And she stops by the arcade and she starts crying over the chest again. And then she goes home and her mom's like, Oh, I ran it into Umino today. He said he got y'all got your test back and he did very good. I wanna see what you got. And she's like, Here and she got mad and kicked her out of the house. <laughs> then Shingo, which is like her little brother, comes home and mocks her. And then we go back to the jewelry store where people are collapsing because of the jewelry is sucking the energy from them. And then we catch where Luna wakes up Usagi, first breaks into her house and wakes her up and talks to her and she starts to freak out because she thinks she's, then she starts um, thinking she's having a dream. So Luna gives her gifts and drops knowledge on the mission. Basically she's going to be the leader, tells her how to transform and we're looking for a princess and a silver crystal. So it kind of drops out on her. She's not even paying attention. She's literally like, oh, this is such a beautiful gift. Like, brooch, whatever. And like, it's like in the mirror. And she's like, well, it's like, shut up and say the word. So she transforms and she starts to spaz out. <laughs> and then she hears Naru is in trouble. Thanks to, the, I guess, the um, her bun hair, I guess, has like, um, has like red orbs in it. I guess that can... It's like a police radio, you can hear stuff, but she hears her friend in her, in trouble. <laughs> so she goes there. So we found out, like I said, the mom is a monster and the real mom is like locked in a closet somewhere. And then so Moon is failing at helping and so she cries and then to see the mask helps. 
and she still starts to cry because she hurt her uh, knee and it went to ultrasonic cry which disrupted everybody <laughs> and so um, Luna tells her to throw her tiara and so she does and it off the monster and then Sailor Moon has a crush on Tetsuda Mask and then we have a discussion in class the next day and when she's trying to sleep <laughs> and that's in the episode um, honestly, I give us an A episode. There was just a couple things in there. I was just like, uh, really? What? <laughs> um, but I thought it was a really good episode overall. And, um, I, to me, I don't really like the music in there. I'm so used to the 90s dub, because uh, that's what I grew up on. And the music was, like, a lot better, in my opinion. And when they go to Jedi, like, holding, like, the orb of energy, it... Sounds like some cheesy music, not music, music. It's not great to me, anyway. Um, but overall, like, um, but over the over that, I thought it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. It brought back a lot of memories for the show. But there's always some like stuff that you don't realize before that you realize. Oh, that's okay, cool. <laughs> like, and there's like some. It since it's like the actual uh, redub of the show, so it's more coherent to the actual anime. So, because in the dub in the 90s, they cut out like a bunch of stuff and had to reword a bunch of stuff. I think curse in this series, and I didn't know that <laughs> until I watched it, um, until I watched the actual new series. And I was like, oh, they curse? What? <laughs> so, anyway, I thought it was really cool. Um, Anyway, so it's like a bit of nostalgia feel for me. That's why I'm watching it. I think it'll be kind of fun. So anyway, overall, I gave this show like a set of A, and that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree? Disagree? Just tell me your thoughts down below, and also suggest for any other shows, whereas anime, uh, TV, or whatever. Just let me know down below, and don't forget to subscribe because I also have the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next episode. Bye, everybody.